The world looks at them as being a waste of time. Uh, the world looks at them as being a, a, a downer on their fun, right? Uh -huh. But to those who are born again, Amen. to those who are saved, the called according to His purpose, uh -huh. His testimonies are wonderful. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And He says, Therefore doth my soul keep them. The word soul there means the mind, the will, and the emotions. Yeah. Uh -huh. It means all three of those. Yeah. The mind, the will and the emotions. Amen. But let me ask you a question. If the world does not like the testimonies of the Lord or the commandments of God, but those who are born again do, what force governs the soul? Well, we're going to look at that tonight. But I will tell you, beginning off, that the force that governs the soul is called the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. It is what uh, uh, gives uh, you power to keep those commandments yeah. and testimonies yeah. of the Lord. And it's what influences you to do so. Amen? Yeah. Uh, the Spirit influences us. In fact, there's many things in the world that's called Spirit. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, they call alcohol spirits. Because it influences you. Uh, and that's why they call it under the influence. Uh, drugs influence you. Mm -hmm. uh, many drugs can alter your mind. Yeah. Yeah. They can ch uh, chemically change the makeup of how you think. Yes, right? they can. There are a lot of things in this world that can influence you. Right. There are other spirits the Bible talks about. There's that spirit of Antichrist that influences the whole world that don't believe in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, try the spirits, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That means everything that is in the world to influence us, we need to try them out by what? By the Word of God, by Amen. the testimonies that are so wonderful to us who believe Amen. in Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And this is a more in-depth study than what I can get to in one service tonight. But man, is it a good study. Amen. Amen. I mean, it, it is awesome how good of a study. Uh, the image of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that He created man in His image, and that's a threefold being. Yeah. Yeah. A soul, a spirit, and a body. And we find in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verses 9 through 16, it says, But as, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love Him. Amen. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit, talking about God's Spirit, yes. searcheth all things, yea, the deep things Amen. of God. Amen. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Amen. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, in other words, the influence of the world, yeah. okay, but the spirit which is of God, yeah. that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, yeah. comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Yeah. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Yeah. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind Amen. of Christ. Yeah. Thank you. So what knoweth the things of man save the spirit of man which is in him? That spirit of man knows the things of man. It 
knows the things just as the Spirit of God knows the things of God. The Spirit of man knows the things of, of man, right? right? And that Spirit of God is what uh, illuminates us to the things of God. When we become saved, God puts His Spirit within us. Because it's God's Spirit that quickens our spirit so that we may know the things of God, yeah. as it says, yeah. that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God, yeah. which things also we speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but that which the Holy Ghost teaches. Yeah. Yeah. So it is the Holy Ghost that illuminates us to understand what God has for us. Amen. Yeah. Without the Holy Spirit of God to illuminate us, we cannot know the things of God. That's why the world doesn't like the things of God. That's yeah. why, why the world thinks church is boring. That's why the world says, I've read the Bible over and over and I just can't understand it. Yeah. That's why the world says, you know, well, that's just, you know, that's silly stuff. That's foolishness. Yeah. Because whatever they can't understand is foolishness. Right. Uh -huh. And they can't understand the things of God. Yeah. They say we're weak because we believe in the things of God, but it's because they don't understand those yeah. things that they think we're weak. Yeah. Right. And until they humble themselves, and we all know what it takes to be uh, saved, mm -hmm. until they humble themselves and repent of their sins and place their faith in Jesus Christ, they will never understand the Man. things. Of God. Nope. Look at Ephesians chapter 2. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 1 through 3. It says, Oh, sorry. I better get to Ephesians. I was still in Corinthians. It says, starting in verse 1, And you hath he quickened Amen. who were dead in trespasses and sins. Where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Yes. So whose spirit are they led by? Satan. The spirit of Satan. Mm -hmm. Isn't he the prince of the power of the air? Yes. Is that who we're talking about? Yeah. Yep. So when we were lost and without Christ, who were we influenced by? Satan. The spirit of Satan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who, among whom also we all had our conversation, that means way of life, in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I bet you the people don't understand that today. Yeah. See, what's influencing me to do the things that I do? Well, say, the spirit of Satan is influencing you. Amen. He was a liar from the beginning, the Bible says. He was a murderer from the beginning. Jesus said, you are as your father. <laughs> because the things he did, you do also. So who are they influenced by? Yeah. Now that, I want to get back to verse 1. It says, and you have the quickened who were dead. And he's not talking physical death, right? But he's talking about the spirit. Yeah. But is the spirit really dead as far as, as, as we think of of death as as being not existent, uh, you know, non alive. No, that word dead there means destitute, and destitute means without God. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's what destitute means. Right. It means you are without God yeah. in the world. Yeah. So what is he saying here? He says, and you have the quickened who were without God in trespasses and sins. You had no help. No. You had no strength. No. You had no power over your sin or the trespasses. You were dead to God. Amen? In other words, to God, you were dead. In yeah. God's eyes, you were dead. Yeah. Because you had not believed in the gospel of His Son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But when you placed your faith in Him and called upon His name, then His Spirit quickened you. Amen? Yeah. And you have He quickened. He made You know, we talked about how we should ask the question, not do you know God, but does God know you? Amen? That's right. Mm -hmm. Because until you have His Spirit, you are dead to Him. Mm -hmm. But And He don't hear you. Amen. People say, I pray and I pray and I just don't feel like God hears me. 
Well, maybe he's not hearing you, amen? Because if you're not saved, then he's not going to hear anything you got to say. Amen. But, Lord, I'm a sinner, amen. and I need your son. That's amen. all the prayer he's going to hear. Right. Because that's when you humble yourself. The Bible says God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Yeah. And until you humble yourself before God and become guilty in your heart before Him, He will not hear. No. Because you're dead to Him. Yeah. People, I heard someone told me this week, well, they, things were just going wrong in their life. And they said, oh, I know the Word says that he never leaves us, forsake us. And I know it says that he, I, all things work together for good, but man, I just can't see it. I just don't know if I believe that or not. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the problem yeah. right yeah. there. Amen. Problem. <laughs> that's right. You just nailed it on the head. Mm -hmm. The problem you got. Amen. And about the time I started telling him that, he hung up the phone because he didn't want to hear that. Amen. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to feel sorry for him, and he wanted me to give him something of the flesh, of money, but he didn't want me to give him the spiritual things that he truly needed, yeah. which was that he needed to repent yeah. and then get right with God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And then maybe God would start hearing his prayers. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, we were destitute without God. Right. We were without Him in the world and we had no power over sin. We had no power over the influence of Satan. All right. That's why when the Bible says that in the last times they are going to be duped by Satan because they are, they are already <laughs> under His influence. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. It's not going to be hard for the world to follow after the Antichrist because the Satan's already got them. Amen. Yeah. They're already His. He's not even worried about them. He's fighting us. That's right. right. He don't have to worry about them. He's got them under his thumb. Yeah. Right. But now he's fighting us because we're trying to give them that light. Yeah. Give them that hope. Give them that hope. Amen. Yes. Amen. Of the glorious gospel of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Look at John chapter 3. So until a person is born again, their spirit only knows the things of the flesh. I mean, in other words, they're not under the influence of the Spirit. They're under the influence of their own flesh yeah. and of the Spirit of Satan. So in John chapter 3, it says in verses 3 through 8, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Right. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, capital Spirit, talking about born of God's Spirit, yeah. amen? amen, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Right. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Mm -hmm. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Alright. All right. So, uh, that word born there, okay? When he said ye must be born again, that word born there means regenerate. <laughs> Amen. It means to cause to be completely reformed. To renew or to restore after a decline to a low or abject condition. A decline. <laughs> that means the spirit of man was alive. Amen? Mm -hmm. When Adam and Eve was in the garden, their spirit was in tune with God's spirit. But when they sinned, they became destitute. In other words, they died to God. And they had to have the shedding of blood to pass their sins on right. as they all did from the Old Testament on until Jesus Christ came and paid for their sins. Right. Yeah. And they had to believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. They had to believe that God's Son would come and pay for their sins. We know that. And when they believed, just as the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, that is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Guess what? 
God put His Spirit in them, and their spirit regenerated. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It was renewed and restored Amen. back to what it was before. Thank the Lord. Now, does that happen to us? I believe it does. Yeah. Because Paul said, I was alive once. Mm -hmm. Didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, I was alive once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. Right. What did he mean? I believe he's talking about children. Amen. Mm -hmm. I believe children are in tune with God's Spirit. Amen. I, I believe that with all my heart. I tell you what, my daughter has faith. Right. Yes. Amen. And I've seen her pray for things and God answer them That's right. that day. Yeah. Yes. Amen. And He has uh, spoken to her faith. Amen. And I believe she sees things uh, in, a, in a greater... And God said, hinder not the children to come to me for yeah. such are, are as the kingdom of heaven. Why? Yes. Because they are spiritually in tune with God. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for the world to teach them all this uh, evil stuff, that's why God said if you offend one of these, it's better than a milestone was wrapped around your neck and you were thrown in the depths of the sea. Yeah. Because you are ruining that child's faith. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the Bible says for us to train up a child in the way they should yeah. go. And when they're old, guess what? They'll return back to yeah. it. Right. What does that mean? It means when they get to the age of accountability, yeah, they... They're going to need to be saved. Yeah. Yes. But if you've taught them as a child and they've had that faith, well, as a child, that when they get to that point, they'll understand that they are destitute yes. and without God. Yes. And they will repent of their sins and they will come back to God yes. and He will restore them and renew them back to it being in tune Amen. and in fellowship with God. Amen. And the word again, when it says being born again, that word again doesn't mean over. It means from above. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. So they are being born of, from above. Yeah. That's, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. I don't want to get ahead of myself. <laughs> yeah. But look to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, starting in verse 1, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now you have something that is going to influence you to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> because now you have the Spirit of God that Amen. dwells in you. Amen. And it has strengthened your spirit. And now you have the influence and the desire, amen, amen. to serve the Lord. Yeah. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. That means that influence of the flesh, I don't have to follow that anymore. Mm -hmm. I have the choice, amen. For what the law could not do and that it was weak through the flesh... God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Amen. Amen. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Amen. God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now we're of the Spirit because the Spirit dwells in us. Yes. I don't have speak in tongues to get the Spirit. I have the Spirit. Amen. Because That's right. I was born again. Yeah. And that means I was regenerated from above That's by right. the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And he says, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Which goes with the verse of Scripture that says, Though our outward man perish, our inward man mm -hmm. is renewed day, day by day. day. Yeah. Yeah. 
But, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. That means you can get control of your flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen? That means you can bring it under, under subjection. Yeah. Just as Paul said, that after he has preached the gospel, he has to bring his body into subjection lest he be, uh, becomes a castaway. Yeah. In other words, he's not living what he's preaching. Yeah. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Mm -hmm. That means through the Spirit, we're to kill the flesh. Amen. 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 And the deeds of the flesh. To slay them. To kill them. <coughs> to put them down. Nip it in the bud. Mm -hmm. yeah. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Amen. Amen. The Spirit itself bear, beareth witness with our spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. That we are the children of God. Yeah. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that means to put the flesh to death, that we may be also glorified together. Yeah. Amen. That means we need to sanctify this flesh, amen? To yes. set it apart, to put it down. We are of those who have no confidence in the yeah. flesh. Right. right. Yeah. That's exactly right. And He says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which we shall be, which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. So even this flesh is waiting, amen? Mm -hmm. It's waiting to be manifested in the sons of God, to be changed. That's why he says in verse 20, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this body is going to be changed. Right. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. I yeah. believe that's why we suffer pain. Yeah, yeah, me too. I believe that's why we go through sickness. Mm -hmm. Because this flesh is groaning yes. to be changed. Yeah. Yes. Because it was not meant to be corrupted. Yeah. We did that. Yeah. And not only, not only they in verse 23, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Yeah. Yeah. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Amen. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Amen. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, yeah. because he maketh intercession for the saints according to to the will of God. Amen. 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 And we know that all things work together for good yes. to them that love God, yeah. to them who are the called according to His purpose. That's right. And who are those who are called according to His purpose? Those who are alive in the Spirit. Amen. Who have been born again. Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> it's all relative. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because after all that, let's go back to Psalms 129, and you are fixing to get a deeper understanding of what he's saying. Amen. 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 Yeah. Psalm 119 and verse 129, he says, Thy testimonies are wonderful. Yeah. Therefore doth my soul keep them. Amen. 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 Yes. I want to tell you what, when you get the Word of God and you have the Spirit of God within you, that Word is like food. Amen. 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 It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Amen. And when it's so wonderful to you, your soul is influenced to yeah. keep them. Mm -hmm. 
by the spirit that is in you. Amen. And what is your soul? It is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now with your mind, I meditate on the word of God. Amen. Yes. Now with my will, I will to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. And now with my emotions, my emotions, I have my affection set on those things Amen. above. Amen. And not on the things Amen. of this earth. Because Amen. now I have the influence of the Holy Spirit Amen. by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. That's good stuff. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. <laughs> and he says in verse 130, the entrance of thy words giveth light. Amen. It giveth understanding unto the simple. Yeah, right. Amen. Now we can understand. Mm -hmm. Now things make sense. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Things fit together. Two plus two equals four. Amen. Yeah. Before two plus two equals three. We don't know how that happened. Amen. But now it makes sense. Amen. We understand it. And the whole world's running around saying two plus two is three. And we're thinking, y'all are crazy. Two plus two is four. And they're saying, no, y'all are crazy. But we have the Spirit of God that confirms it in us Amen. that we know God is true. Amen. Look at John chapter 1. John chapter 1 and verses 12 and 13. It says, But as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name, yeah. which were born. Amen? Uh -huh. Which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Amen. Amen. Why do we understand? How can we understand? Now His Word is light. Amen. Because now we are born of God. Amen. Yeah. Look at John 6, 63. We all know these verses of Scripture. They're not new. But I'm going to tell you what, God continues to shed more and more light on the subject, don't yes. it? <laughs> John 6, 63, it says, It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth not. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It was the words that were spoken unto us that gave us life. Mm -hmm. It pleases God through the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Yeah, yeah. And what are we preaching? Man's wisdom? No, we're preaching the gospel, the power of God, amen? Which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. And now as we preach tonight, the full counsel of God, it sheds more light to us. Yeah. And more and more we see and the more we see, the more we want to see. Amen. 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 That's right. I tell you what, the more of God's Word I know, the more I want to know. Amen. Amen. Because it is so true and it is so good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is honey to my taste. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is sweet as honey in the honeycomb. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, you start desiring it more than the gold and the silver of this world. Yeah. It is good. Amen. Amen. Look at 1 Peter. That we were of the children of wrath. Yeah. Why? Because this flesh is of the devil. Mm -hmm. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. Yeah. That He might destroy the works of the devil. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you, if you're living in sin, and you're letting your flesh control you, you are walking all over the sacrifice Jesus made for you. Because He did not save you so that you could stay in your sin. Yeah. He saved you to give you life and life more abundantly. Amen. And yeah. that means for you to overcome your sin. Mm -hmm. Don't make excuses. Don't say, well, I'm only human. No, you have the Spirit of God resting yes. in you now. Amen. If you're saved. Amen. If you're not, then that can change once you humble yourself and yeah. repent of your sins and call upon Him to save you. Yeah. And he says, uh, in verse 9, Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. 
And who is born of God? Not this flesh, but the Spirit. Remember what Jesus said? You must be born again. Nicodemus said, How can we be born again? A man be born again when he is old? Jesus said, That which is of the flesh is flesh. Not saying your flesh has to be born again. It's corrupted. Mm-hmm. It can't be born again. Mm-hmm. It's going to die. Yes. But your spirit needs to be born again. Yes. Amen. So what is he saying? Whosoever is born of God, your spirit. Yes. Can, can, uh, does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him. Mm-hmm. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. Puts new light on that verse, doesn't it? Yeah. Amen. People say, he never leaves me nor forsake me. That means he's in the room. No, he's right here. Yes. Amen. Yeah. He's right here. Mm-hmm. If, if things are, are not right in your life, it's not because he left you. It's because you left him. Yeah. Yeah. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. Amen. Mm-hmm. So what does God see when he sees us? He sees His Son. He don't see this flesh. Mm -hmm. This flesh is still dead to Him. No, but when that Spirit was reborn, He sees us in the likeness of His Son because the Spirit of His Son resteth in us. And our Spirit rests in Him. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things passed away. Behold, all things are made new. Amen. Amen. Woo! Tell you what, some people hearing this, this is meat right here. Amen. This is meat. Some people be choking on this right now. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on the milk for a while. You'll get to this. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if this is too hard for you to take, just just keep in the milk and keep studying God's word, and it'll be revealed. Amen. God will continue to grow you. Yeah. 1 John chapter 5 and verses 18 through 21, he says, We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. Amen. Satan cannot touch me. Amen. He might touch this flesh, but he can't touch me. Amen. Because I'm a child of God. He can't lay a finger on me. Amen. Amen. He might destroy this flesh, but as Job said, who cares about the flesh? I'm going to be risen one day, and I'll see God. Amen? Amen. Yeah. And I'll be changed. Yeah. Just as he said, we, it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like he is. Yeah. For we shall see him as he is. Amen. Amen. What was that last verse that you said? 1 John 5, 18. Through 21 and verse 19 it says, And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. Yeah. They're still dead in trespasses and sins, destitute without God. Yeah. And we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. That we may know Him that is true. And I'm going to tell you, just knowing Him does not mean you just know what He did for you. That's right. I'm going to tell you, knowing Him gets deep mm-hmm. as we get deep tonight. It gets deep. Yes. The more that you know Him, the more that you know you don't know Him. Amen. 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 The more that you want to know Him. Amen. That we have an understanding that we may know Him that is true, and we are in Him that is true, yeah. even in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Yeah. Amen. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. 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 And then Galatians chapter 5, and we'll be through. We'll be through tonight, but this study is <laughs> way on. Amen. You can pick it up. Galatians chapter 5, and verse 13 through 18, it says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Mm-hmm. What is he saying? Just because you're saved, don't give you the right to just do whatever you want to yeah. in the flesh. Uh-huh. But by love, serve one another. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Yeah. 
But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Mm -hmm. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. For the lust, or for the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. Mm -hmm. These are opposing influences. Amen? Yeah. These are opposing influences so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Right. Yeah. Why? Because if you're led by the Spirit, you're under the influence of the Spirit. Yeah, right. You're not under the law anymore. You're under the Spirit. Yeah, right. And what is the Spirit influencing you to do? To love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And therefore, you have fulfilled the law. Because you're going to keep the commandments of God. If you love Him, and you love your neighbor as yourself. Thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore, does my soul keep them. That word keep means maintain. Amen? Are you maintaining the testimonies of the Lord? Are you keeping them up? You're not just listening and hearing them and, and then throwing them away, but you're maintaining them. That means you're keeping them alive in you Amen. to live them every day. Amen. The entrance of thy words giveth light and giveth understanding to the simple. Order my steps in thy word and let not iniquity have dominion Amen. over me. Amen. Amen. Let's stand. Lord, we thank you tonight for your word. Oh, how wonderful Your Word is. Lord, for Your Word is light, and it is life, and it is truth, and it is spirit. Lord, we just pray that You would help us to continue to grow in Your Word and in our faith. Lord, that we might truly be influenced by Your Spirit. Lord, that we might walk in the Spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. But Lord, to purify ourselves so that we are pure even as You are pure. So that we are holy even as You are holy. And Lord, forgive us where we fail You. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our altars are open.